Welcome to Naresai Technologies. Uh, this is Ram Chandar. In the last two videos, I did talk about what are the differences between object oriented programming approach and procedure oriented or structure oriented programming approach. And also, I did talk about somewhat introduction related to OOPS. In the introduction, I told you like OOPS is nothing but OOPS is nothing but object oriented programming system principle it is used to it is used to represents it is used to represent real world existing things real world existing things through technology here a real world existing things nothing but objects through technology for this purpose we required concept like what here one approach one approach or approach or or technique or methodology methodology that is what exactly object oriented programming system approach it is a technique and it is a methodology or approach which is used to represent a real world existing through technology wise or any specific language wise technology wise or any specific language wise now observe here let me take one real world existing thing that is what uh, book maybe it is not maybe it is comes under what uh, class the reason is whenever we talks about a, a terminology like a book we are not getting any particular image about the book the reason is uh, we have different books are available in the real world so i need to provide a exact picturization about what book if you want to represent a exact picturization about the book definitely we required what here object class is a imaginary thing which is not useful for communication if you want to communicating with any real world object definitely we required any real world entity we required what here objects now i told you like uh, each and every object in the real world having three characteristics uh, one is one is identity another one is properties another one is what functionalities so identity is used to differentiate one object to another object and properties are used to holding the value are allocating the memory for values and as well as functions functionalities means holding the logic which is used for doing some operation on top of the properties so if you want more details please uh, go through my previous video now i told you like here one point one point object oriented programming system is a a technique which is used to represent real world existing thing here in this definition we required we having two important terminology what are those represent real world existing things through technology wise represent real world existing thing through technology or language wise how we can uh, represent observe here see i told you like object oriented programming system approach not providing any syntaxes not providing any api only providing what here some rule and guidelines by using these rule and rule and guidelines we can represent real world object through program wise so here based on this identity property functionalities guidelines i'm going to be represent one real world entity i'm going to be represent one real world entity i'm using one technology here what java here i'm using one technology that is what guys java so how to represent this uh, how to represent one real world entity with the help of the technology please observe here let me highlighting on a, a basic program to represent one real world entity like a book through technology wise now if you want to develop if you want to talks about any object nothing but if you want to create an object in java language definitely we required one concept that is what here class 
definitely we required one concept like what here class here class nothing but i am taking one class here what book here i am taking one class here book now this uh, class class is not used for represent not used for communication it is only for specification purpose now observe here class is a single entity class is a single entity class is a single entity which is holds which is holds object information which is holds object information what is the meaning of object information object information is nothing but identity and properties as well as what functionalities identity property as well as what functionalities now here class is one single entity which is going to be hold what object information nothing but now i am going to be right now i am going to be right all these functionalities all these functionalities in the class itself so here very common point is if you want to represent any object two things are very mandatory one is one is class is mandatory one is class is mandatory and another one is another one is object information is mandatory nothing but we required characteristics here we have a three characteristics already we learn about those things now observe here i want to represent one real world entity through technology wise how observe i am taking one a real world entity that is what book here a book is one class every book having some identity i want to differentiate one book to another book for example in the real world we have different types of technology we have java dot net php oracle um, maths uh, science uh, social we have different types of uh, uh, um, courses we have so we have different books we have for related courses so here i want to differentiate one a uh, book to another book so how can i differentiate one book to another book with the help of what here identity so identity here i am taking like so here in the last video and this video i am talks about object oriented in the general view not i am using any technical definitions and technical uh, 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 terminology is here in the next video i'm going to be talks about object oriented in fully technical manner so here string uh, uh, i'm taking here i'm taking like a book uh, name here book name is what uh, i'm taking like a java here book name is what here java i'm taking now in the meanwhile i'm taking one more uh, class that is also what here book only that is also what book itself now in this particular scenario this book is also having some identity so how can you differentiate one id one book to another book with the help of their book names here i'm taking like what uh, oracle oracle test book this is what here java test book now observe here first identity is completed now um, we have uh, properties or uh, variables or instances are used to providing the memory in that memory if you want to communicating with the any data at uh, uh, any technology through any technology wise uh, definitely we required some memory that memories are giving by the what here properties now here i'm taking one property like int length i'm taking best terminology length here length i'm taking like what uh, 15 cm length i'm taking what 15 cm and here i'm taking like uh, uh, width uh, width i'm taking here uh, uh, 10 cm i'm taking so in the same manner this book also this book is also having some one more book here i'm taking um, let's uh, first define one book later we can go for another book so int length 15 and width what here 10 okay and here also mention like a number of pages pages which we have in the book uh, assume those are uh, 300 pages these are those are what here 300 pages now these are the uh, properties what exactly properties Uh, which is providing the memory in that memory we are going to be hold the what here content content means here what uh, a data now one more thing is every object having some functionalities what are those functionalities uh, here i am taking like functionalities functionalities so here functionality means we have different things one is what with the help of the book what can we do uh, we can read the content 
we can read the content so here i am writing like uh, some system dot out dot print uh, reading reading object oriented principles reading object oriented principles so this is what here one uh, user friendly message this is comes under what here principles next one is we have not only one functionalities every object having different different functionality sometimes uh, if you want to do extra note point in your textbook we can write also uh, we can write also this is what your functionality of uh, write uh, system dot out dot print and writing note points see up the rear here now i am representing one real world entity through one technology through one technology here i am using one technology like here i am using one technology that technology is nothing but here is nothing but here what here java this is java technology technology or language here i am using what java technology by using this java technology i am representing object what is one real world object book to represent a book with the help of java technology we need some methodology we need some approach we need some approach or we need some technique that technique we can called as what object oriented programming system principle or object oriented programming system approach this is what exactly a uh, conclusion about what exactly object oriented programming system i given information like object oriented programming system is an approach which is used to differentiate which is used to differentiate one real world existing thing through technology or language that is what exact uses of the Oops, most of the people feels like uh, you know, Java only having the object oriented programming system and some other technology is not having uh, Oops is the part of the Java and you Oops is the uh, part or Oops is the concept which is comes under the Java most of the people feels like object oriented programming system is not a part of the Java is not a part of the dot net is not a part of the C++ it is not a part of the any other technology it is only a separate thing nothing but it is a one separate approach all the languages are going to be uses what here this approach if any approach or if any language any language which has been developed any language which has been developed on top of the object oriented programming system principle those languages we can called as what object oriented programming languages one more time i am repeating if any language which has been developed on top of the oops concept those languages we can called as what here object oriented programming programming languages this is what a very clear and in detail explanation about uh, object and this is uh, object representation through uh, technique one of the uh, through one technology like java the same object uh, the same book uh, uh, we can represent in the form of c++ also in the form of what here dot net also here technology is not a mandatory here only one thing is mandatory what is that uh, uh, approach is mandatory understand here technology is not a mandatory here whether we are re able to representing any real world entity or not that is what your main important thing in the next video i am going to be talks about uh, identity in the identity itself uh, i am talks about uh, memory allocation and everything after that i am go for what your methods concept i hope you enjoyed this video and you got a clear information about uh, object oriented programming system as well as object oriented programming system language a final conclusion here is uh, object oriented program programming system is a technique it is not a technology it is providing some guidelines it is not a part of the any one technology it is a separate methodology if any language which we are going to be develop and which has developed has developed if those technologies uses object oriented programming approach those languages comes under what here object oriented programming language so guys um, must be clear about these two points approach is different 
language is different. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos, please subscribe to channel. Thank you.